Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you how to bring in game audio through your Elgato Wave 1 microphone. What do you mean? How do you bring in game audio through a microphone? It's pretty cool. So using the Wavelink software that comes for free with the Elgato Wave 1 microphone, you can connect game audio, music, chat, your own microphone, all of that stuff in a simple digital audio mixer right on your computer. This mixer, the Wavelink software. If you don't already have the software set up, your mic hooked up and you aren't already at this step in the process, watch my previous tutorial videos. They'll get you caught up to where we're at right now. Got it. So the first step that you're going to do in order to make this happen is to open a game. Um, so right now I have Cyberpunk 2077 open on my computer and it's running. Cool. Run whatever game you're going to run. Check. That's step one. Step two, in your Wavelink software, you're going to click the add audio input button here and you're going to choose game so when you do that i recommend naming it whatever game you're playing um, or you can leave it as game audio whatever you want to do uh, but i like naming it something that makes sense to my brain it really does help <laughs> so choose whatever it is you want to name it check awesome i'm going to mute my monitor mix so we don't get mega feedback during this tutorial you do not have to do that that's step two. So we just added it to game here in the Wavelink software. The third step that we need to do is we need to pull up this menu right here in our system so that we can route the audio to the Wavelink uh, software. How do we do that? Easy. So you go down in Windows and you type in sound and it's going to pull up sound mixer options right here and click sound mixer options and it'll pull up the menu we're looking at right here. Now, you may be intimidated by all the inputs and outputs and you go, oh God, this is gonna be terrible. No, it's actually gonna be very easy. Just follow the steps, come along with me. Scroll down and go down to wherever your game is. As you can see, Cyberpunk 2077 is right there for me. What you're gonna do is you're going to click uh, the first menu and you're gonna choose uh, Wavelink Game as your option there. There it is, Wavelink Game check the next option you're going to choose wavelength stream now you don't have to but i recommend clicking that as your default option for you guys i don't recommend leaving it on default right here you may want to do a custom mixing configuration for the second setting that's up to you but generally speaking i do wavelength stream as the second option got it now i turned my volume down earlier so that i wouldn't blow your faces off as i start the video so i'm gonna turn mine up you should start at 100 got it so your volume should be on should be game wavelength game and wavelength stream just as a starting point got it now as you can see our game audio is now pumping through the wavelength mixer sweet right and here's some interesting settings that you can do that will really take your mixing game to the next level so for example i've muted it in my monitor mix so i don't hear the game right now in my monitor mix. If I wanted to hear it in my monitor mix in my headphones, I could just click this button and it would pump it right through my headphones. If I want to listen, if I don't want the audience to hear the game audio, I can click this button and mute it and boom, now the audience doesn't hear it. And you can adjust the volume levels on how loud the game is in your headphones here on the left versus what the viewers hear here on the right, which is awesome. You can also choose whether you're uh, monitoring, well, uh, whether you're listening to what's going in your monitor mix by clicking the ear here, or whether you're listening to what viewers hear by clicking the ear here as you're setting up that mix and understanding what the viewer experience is going to be like. I'm gonna be quiet for a moment and watch what's happening. You see how the volume levels here on the bottom were higher than the volume levels on the top? Right. Obviously, that's because I've muted my game in my monitor mix, which was the top, but I've let the game audio pump through in my stream mix, which is the bottom. And so that's the power of this mixing option. So, for example, if you wanted to um, pull up some game audio and check it out and listen to it first before the audience uh, hears it to make sure everything's good, you could just mute the audience playback and unmute the monitor mix. Or if you wanted to do vice versa, you don't want to listen to the game audio, but you do want the audience to hear it. You could mute in your headphones by clicking the headphones button and you could play it back by unclicking this button and letting the audio go through in your playback mix. The possibilities are endless and it is super simple for you to set up for the first time. That's the power of the Elgato Wave 1. I love this microphone. I've recommended the Wave 3 to dozens of my clients and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Adios, amigos. 
pick up the Wave 1 and its official accessories in the links below.